Hey guys, Richard here with CRG Games, and I am back with box number five of the Streets of New Cathena set booster series. The last box was a little on the weak side. Um, I'd be surprised if that one broke even, to be honest. There were really no good list cards, uh, I don't think. Yeah, I feel bad for all of these promo cards stuck to these cardboard inserts. I mean, they're... They're stuck so hard on there that man, I just I'm just gonna leave them on. I don't think I'm gonna take them off. Although that kind of makes it hard to mail out if you keep it them sealed. And that reminds me. So promo cards, personally, I always keep them sealed. Um, and any of my friends can attest to this. Anytime there's promo cards, um, you know, pre-release cards, anything that's in a cellophane wrap, I always tell everybody, hey, if you don't want the card that you pulled, please sell it to me. I will pay a premium over, um, you know, whatever the market price is the card of the card is, as long as it's just still 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 sealed in the in the uh, cellophane wrap. There's just something about it um, that I really. I just think they should be left in there. And even if you pull a good card and you want to use it in your draft, um, just get a token and write, write whatever you have on there. I Personally, I never open them. I've got a nice little stack um, of sealed promos that, again, I'm never going to open. One of these days, I'll probably start listing some on eBay or you know something like that. Uh, I'd like to uh, have my own store at uh, some point in the future. And, you know, maybe put those on display, you know, sell them to patrons. There's just something about sealed product that you can see, right? Sealed booster box, you can't see what's inside. And that's part of the allure because you don't know what you're going to get. A sealed promo, you know what the card is. You can look at it. You can enjoy it. And you can buy an unsealed version that somebody else has already opened to use. Uh, this is a Rafine Scheming Seer. So, I'm not sure what color to call that. Is that brown or green or, I mean, it's a cool art card. I like it. Uh, it's just, that's not a color palette that you see on magic cards at all. Like, you never see that. That's kind of why I like Haunting Voyage from, um, Kaldheim because it's, the card's literally brown. Yeah, can't get that one open like that. So I have to use the tab. Jeez Louise, what am I doing here? All right, so far the signed cards. Again, it's 1 in 20, uh, your chance to get a signed art card. It's been about one per box. Uh, we got Jenny Fay, Jetmere's second. Is that like his side chick, or is it, you know, maybe I don't understand what second means. All right, stimulus package. I love that card. Zyatora's Proving Ground. So there's our first tri land. Right now, the Ikoria Triums, even the basic ones, are anywhere from $13 to $20. Um, Ketria and Rogren Triome, they are holding the most value. The same is um, true for the Showcase versions and the Showcase Foil versions. Right now, and I, I don't know when this is going to happen, uh, we got another uh, Wasatora uh, Nekaru uh, Queen. Nekaru, Nekaru Queen. Um, I've got a bunch of the Triomes. Uh, the showcases. I basically sold off all of the non-foil um, showcases and non. Uh, sorry, all of the basic triumphs. I have kept all of my showcases in showcase foils, but none of them yet have really reached over fifty dollars. Now Ketria, and I'm gonna confront the past from Strixhaven. Ketri Trium and Rogren Trium generally have the highest value. 
they've uh, been in the you know forty nine dollar range for you know several times now, but they seem to have an issue breaking that fifty dollar mark. Now, when they do, and you can see this if you know anything about the stock market, you generally have areas of support and resistance. So what will happen is, let's say I buy 50 copies of Ketria Trium for $20 a piece. If I am a, you know, institutional investor, I've got an exit plan before I buy that product. My goal is to sell that product at $50 per card. So once that hits $50, you know, we're keeping an eye on it, we're tracking the prices. Once that hits $50, we start listing some of those cards online and they start selling. And as long as there is a supply there, we call that resistance. Now the same thing happens at support. If the price goes down, let's say it goes back down to $20. Well, that same investor may say, hey, this card is undervalued at anything below $20, so I'm gonna start buying those. So then that, that uh, buyer acts as a support. There's somebody there holding that price up. And of course, when it gets back to $50, there's someone there waiting with their hammer to knock you right in the noggin. And that's when you'll see price dips sometimes after they get to a certain point because new supply enters the market. The magic card market, not magic card market, but the magic the gathering card market behaves a lot like the stock market, although it has, you know, other factors that um, influence the price. But so far, the $50 price point for Rogren and, and Ketria Triome has really seemed to be holding for close to the last year. Now, I don't know how many people are sitting on. Um, I can't imagine it's a ton just because of my own personal experience in pulling them, how many packs it took, and how many I had to buy on the open market to actually build my position in there. It took a lot. And a lot of them, you know, I paid upwards of $35 for. Which is okay when the current value is, you know, $49.99, close to $50. After fees, I'm probably going to net, you know, $42 to $43. So a, um, you know, $7 or $8 return on a $30 card in a six or eight month period that's pretty good by investing standards. It's not about, you know, doubling your money. As Rudy says, it's not about free tendies. It's about being comparable to traditional, um, you know, market returns. If you can match that, you're doing great. If you can't, it just means you, little, you need a little more practice or you need to change your strategy. But if you come up with a strategy for investing in Magic the Gathering cards and it's solid and you've done your research and you're not just buying because you think it will go up, you should do all right. But if you're just, you know, yellowing it and buying a thousand copies of Tramway Station showcases at two cents a piece, you're probably going to have those either until um, you burn them or you die with them and they're buried with you because that card is likely never going to be worth uh, something like that, probably more than 20 cents. And that's talking 20 years down the road, <clears throat> as long as there still aren't three quarters of a million of them, um, you know, sitting in a warehouse somewhere, which there probably are. So we got a Void Rend and Elspeth, Undaunted Hero. That is from the list. That's uh, Theros Beyond Death. Elspeth is great for making, uh, was it night tokens, I believe? Was it 2 2 night tokens? Or something like that. I've got a couple Elspeths. I'll have to do a, a binder 
um, video one of these days. I don't know if that's something that people do on YouTube as they you know show off their binder. I'm proud of the cards that I've got, um, the stuff that I've collected over the last couple years. And anybody that's got a nice collection, you know, probably at some point likes to show it off a little bit. You know, every card that you buy generally sometimes has a story. And sometimes it's nice to tell that story. The one thing, wow. <laughs> Sorry, I was like speechless there for a second. This is the, uh, it's not foil etched, of course, because you can't get the foil etched in this product. But this is the Showcase Foil Elspeth uh, Resplendent. That is a that is a certified hit. So we're going to go ahead and put her in a sleeve. Uh, without nicking the corners. Wow. I'm excited. I think this box has done pretty good now. So we're going to put her aside. Uh, and there's still like 10 packs left here. Sorry, I don't have, uh, I don't really, uh, you know, jump for joy and stuff when I, when I pull, uh, you know, expensive cards, I guess. But um, that is definitely a good hit. Is that what I think it is? Wow. So, we, wow. So we got Rafine, um, Showcase, and uh, Luxior, Giada's Gift. So I don't know exactly what that's holding at. But I know that this this artifact is definitely a sought-after artifact. Maybe it's not this version of it. But uh, that is also a good hit. I think this box is actually turning out to be pretty darn good. That Elspeth... We'll have to check and see what it's worth. But I would have to guess in the probably $25 to $35 range in Showcase Foil. So basically a third the value of the box. And the other third's right here. Um, Luxior, I'm not sure about that. So since we're only two weeks in or so, uh, you know, a weekend, I guess, from the official release, And I really need to fix that. Uh, I got to find out if there's a setting there where it automatically, you know, shuts off the uh, the camera there. Um, we got Zayatora, the incinerator, and a foil Parnes. This is the um, commander card. Uh, what was I saying? So we got like a third of the box there, a third of the box there. Luxior. This box is uh, probably definitely paid for itself. Uh, it looks like we have a list card at... Wow, another Elspeth. Okay. Uh, that's pretty neat. Mayhem Patrol and Bjorna. Yeah, this last third of the box is um, turning out to be pretty darn good. That's what I got there. So I'm stuck together. Uh, we got a sign card. This is uh, Sanctuary Warden. And it looks like she's got... Oh, that's a sword. For a second there, I thought that was like a nightstick. Which have been kind of weird. Uh... Kim is hostile takeover and join the Maestros in our token card. All right, we got uh, like four packs left here. I think this is probably going to be one of the best boxes so far, especially if there's another um, art card or two in here. That's the same art card as the last one, just not signed. Racer's Ring Professional, Face Breaker, and uh, Discipline Duelist. So we've got draft tonight. We're actually going to be drafting uh, SNC here. And last night was Commander Night. This night, uh, tonight's going to be draft. And there are new um, championship promos, play promos um, for the championship, the store championship, the top eight, and also a nice Halo Fountain there, and a Sofina uh, Spear Sage Deserter. So there are play promos, top eight promos, and store championship promos. If this is like before, we're probably going to see some of those championship promos. Um, some of the larger WPN stores might have their name stamped in them. So the last one that we got was uh, Worm Coil Engine, and I did not end up winning it, but my buddy won it, and he sold it to me um, because I was literally drooling over that card, and I believe he already had one, and he wasn't going to use it. 
and my friends know that I really, really like sealed promo cards. So um, I did purchase that card for like $50, I think. It's only worth $35 now, but things like that tend to go up over time, and if they're still sealed, they do command a premium. Not that I plan on selling it anytime soon. It's part of my collection now. Uh, Topiary Stomper. Avon Heartstammer. Okay. And a, uh, a second. No. A first gilded foil for this box. This is a uh, Glamorous Outlaw. Now, it's just a common, but it'd be interesting again to see what these do over time. So we are going to sleeve it just in case anyways. So overall... This box, not too shabby at all. Not anything crazy in the list, but we got uh, three Tri-Lands and uh, two Elspeth Planeswalkers, one being Showcase Foil. So I think this is going to be a uh, definitely a good box here. We've got one more in the pipeline, and I'm going to open that one up here in just, just a little bit. And it will be available uh, tomorrow to view. And then after that, um, probably... Uh, See, it's the 8th right now. Um, I'm going to be sorting all the cards. It shouldn't take me all that long. Um, for the most part, we just have regular uh, cards, showcase, borderless, and gilded foil. So there's only four variants to, to sort through. I don't know. It shouldn't take that long. But that will be later. Until then, I will catch you guys in the next one.